back just a step here. Two o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Top sustained winds at 35. We went from potential tropical cyclone earlier to tropical depression. And the reason for that is that the low level circulation is now closed off. So it is a cyclone. So that's why we're up to depression. And we think the reason it could be a tropical storm, the five o'clock advisory, is now that we're starting to see the banding up on the north side here. You can also see that strong band to the south. So, and also notice here, right near the center of circulation, you have some deep convection firing up. So all of these things are things that we look at that point us uh, in the direction of seeing this uh, organizing better. All right, as we look at the latest with the warnings here, Dominica, that is the bottom line of the leeward. So the southern leewards, as well as the northern windwards, tropical storm watches. So you could see tropical storm force winds within 48 hours. All right, here's our forecast here as we look at it. And again, this is what we hate to see, but this cone of uncertainty Again, just don't look down the center part of this cone here because the effects are outside of the cone too. But right now, this is taking its way up through the leewards and back over toward Puerto Rico and possibly over toward uh, the eastern side of uh, Hispaniola over toward Dominican Republic. So a lot of the areas that saw Irma may get affected by this one here. In fact, if we do a compar comparison, Watch this as we take it out a few days, and you can see the track here. It is taken up over through the leewards and maybe up past the Turks and Caicos and southern Bahamas. So, Chris, not exactly the type of forecast we want to see here with 15. No, definitely not good news there in the tropics. Not good news in the heartland of the country either. In addition to the tropics, we are watching the potential for severe weather across parts of the central U.S.